What's going on YouTube, Champa Productions coming back at you with another video. And in front of me, I have the Nerf AccuStrike Raptor Strike. This was released in 2017, a part of the Nerf AccuStrike line, and their objective was to make more accurate um, darts, which are these Waffle Head style darts, um, thus the name AccuStrike. They're striving to make more accurate Nerf darts, but this is a sniper rifle based Nerf blaster, and it is really cool. I actually really like this blaster. Um, it's bolt action, um, so that's pretty cool. But the only one of the few issues I have with this blaster is that it has a grenade launcher sight. It's cool that it has a little pop-up gimmick, but I really don't understand that. I, there's so much space up here that they could have put a tactical rail on here for a scope. But it does come with a adjustable bipod, which is pretty cool. Um, and it does fold up, and then it comes with a couple areas for a sling areas for a sling mount, and then it does have a cheek rest. So whenever you're using the blaster, um, you can rest your cheek on the side. And on the stock here, it actually does have a magazine holder, and then you can put your primary magazine in the rifle itself. So it's overall a pretty cool sniper rifle. Um, the reason I am doing a video on this blaster today is because I'm going to give it a 7kg spring upgrade which is built specifically to upgrade this blaster alone. Um, it's just a uh, simple spring upgrade so I'm going to be doing a modification tutorial today. And uh, the reason I'm doing this modification because I uh, put this thing in storage and I left it primed with the magazine in. So the performance of the blaster is kind of bad now because uh, the spring does not have the strength that it once did when it was fresh out of the box. So I got a 7 kg upgrade spring so it's going to be a lot lot better once we crack this thing open put the new spring in. Um, the performance is going to be a lot better but overall this is a pretty cool sniper rifle. So I would like to mention our sponsor for today's video, Jonathan. He has actually donated the 7 kg spring to this video so Jonathan thank you. Now, let's proceed with the video. So to start off the modification of this blaster, we're first going to need to remove the bolt if you've already applied it. Um, if you got this and it's still in the box and you won't have to worry about this if you're planning to go straight and modifying it, but if you already have the bolt installed, you're simply going to want to take a pair of pliers, get them under the bolt, and apply pressure upwards, and then I was able to remove the bolt, and then I'm now able to proceed with that step and then we will need to remove the bipod. That may be just me, you may be able to remove it with ease, but if you're having difficulties removing the bolt itself, just take a pair of pliers and that should fix the issue um, really easily. But now we are able to uh, unscrew the blaster and open up to get to the internals. So let's start, let's start opening, uh, let's start unscrewing everything and getting it opened up. All right, I now have all these screws undone. Now we can open up the shell of the blaster, which I have begun to do a little bit. So just removing the half of the shell. We can now access the internals. So from here, we're gonna access, we're gonna need to have access to this tube right here and that's what houses the old sock spring. So remove, now I don't want the whole plunger rod and everything, I just want that. So here we have the original sock spring, set it off to the side, open up this new 7kg spring. And go ahead and see how it fits on the plunger rod, nice and smooth. Then we can put the back of the plunger piece. Okay, that's interesting. Put that on the wrong way. There we go. Now we simply fit that back into place. Make sure all the internals are lined up. And then we button everything back up, put everything back together. And there we have our modified Raptor Strike. Now one thing I do recommend uh, while um, modifying a blaster is that if you're not too familiar with the blaster or you're just beginning working with 
uh, Nerf guns and opening them up. I do recommend taking a picture of the internals of the blaster before you go messing around with them. Uh, it does greatly help if you forget where something uh, goes or if you can't get your blaster to come back together or look back on that photo, something may be misaligned. Just a um, good little hint. But the 7kg spring fit beautifully in the blaster as it should as a specific spring upgrade for the specific blaster. So as expected, it went in beautifully. Um, putting it back together is pretty simple. I'm just buttoning up some of the screws and then we will see how the blaster performs. Overall, now it's got the upgrade spring inside of it. All right, so I'm just wrapping up a last few things while buttoning up pot back on, reinsert the bolt, there we go, put that in, and then put the grenade sight back on, and here we have the modified Raptor Strike, let's see the difference in the draw weight, that is a lot better, that is a lot, uh, that's more of a heavy, a heavier draw weight than the stock spring. It's got a nice little pop to it. Definitely a upgrade from the previous stock spring, which I have right here. So that is the upgrade and modding tutorial. Let's see how the gun performs. So I have a fully loaded uh, AccuStrike dart magazine and then the spare magazine in the stock. I have just normal standard Nerf Zombie Strike Elite dart. So so downrange, I have a target at 25 feet. For this first round, I have AccuStrike darts. And then in the stock, I have just your standard Nerf Zombie Strike Elite darts. Switching magazines. Now we have a Nerf Zombie Strike Elite darts. So overall, the 7kg spring upgrade did benefit this blaster a lot. Um, that was a small target to be hitting at 25 feet. The uh, plate itself was 5 by 5 inches, so it was a small target. If you're trying to hit a human target at 25 feet, I don't imagine you'll be having a lot of problems given that you are using AccuStrike uh, darts because as you saw in the video, um, the uh, Nerf Elite darts were just going everywhere and I couldn't really even hit in the general direction of the target itself. But overall, the power of the blaster is greatly enhanced. Um, you can definitely tell that by the prime, uh, by the draw weight in the prime itself. It's got a nice loud pop. Um, and overall, it's just the overall performance of the blaster is greatly increased. Um, I will say that you will get ranges of about, I want to say 40 feet, maybe 30 to 40 feet and uh, maybe around 50 feet if you're angling it up. Uh, you have to take into account what type of ammunition you're using, whether you're using leap darts, uh, AccuStrike darts, because AccuStrike darts aren't as aerodynamic, but they are a lot more accurate. And then you got your leap darts, which are a lot more aerodynamic, but not as accurate. But overall, the 7kg spring as a whole for the upgrade of this blaster was really, really good, and it did increase the performance of the blaster itself. So I am really pleased with this modification. And uh, if you found this mod guide useful, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of the Raptor Strike upgrade in the comment section below, and be sure to leave subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. And that's all from me, Champion Productions, signing off. So we're going to go ahead and load the Raptor Strike. We have a target down range. Why did that dart just pop out? I don't know. But we already have a target. Cut. <laughs> All right, first shot down range. 
low shot down range, low 